Hello everyone, this is Ross with Market Traders Daily and this is today's video analysis for June 18, 2020. Today, we're taking a look at the USD CHF, the US dollar versus the Swiss franc for today's trade analysis. Looking here at the daily time frame, overall we have seen mostly a downtrend over the past several weeks. We fell from this range up here, top of the range, near the upper 0 0.97, 75, 85 level, even running up towards the 0 0.98 level uh, a little bit earlier within the range. But most of all, we've been falling ever since reaching the top of that range the last time came down settled out at the pink zone at the bottom of the range and then broke through and made the new low down here into the upper 0.93s uh, since then making that low we've seen a significant rally for the buyers uh, the buyers come back in leaving this small body long wick on the bottom somewhat like a hammer candlestick the next day a significant influx of buyers driving it back above the 90 0.95 level we've seen over the past three days a little bit of a slump back or pull back of the buyers uh, pulling back into the yellow zone 0 0.94 70 but we've been sitting here now for now the fourth day in a row sitting here on top of 9485 as support so the question is are we going to see the return of the sellers and I think really the only answer to that is if the market gets back under the yellow zone if it's able to get back under the yellow zone I think we look for the return of the sellers for me as long as it stays above the yellow zone I'm looking for a continuation of the buying momentum that started down here with the hammer candlestick, the long blue candle, pull back, reload for the buyers, and a turn back higher again. That's basically the way I'm looking at this. And we'll talk about the U.S. dollar later on in the trade room and how that can impact the direction of the dollar franc and uh, some of the signals and patterns that we're seeing set up on the U.S. dollar. But right now, looking for it to settle out here into the support, the yellow zone, Go back up, challenge the blue zone, which the past two days has found resistance at the blue zone, 0 0.950515. Breaking the blue zone would lead it back higher to the green zone or even higher, maybe even as high as the pink shaded area up here towards the 0 0.96 level. Uh, that's really what needs to happen. It needs to break through the blue zone if we're going to see further movement higher. So at the moment, my intention is to look for buys or going long as close as possible to the yellow zone, break through the blue zone, and look for it to go higher. Our stop loss and risk at this point is just going to be underneath the yellow zone. We don't want it to break underneath that yellow zone. Four hour time frame doesn't change that any. Take a look at it here on the four hour. Uh, there it is. You can see support into the yellow zone, resistance at the blue zone. So again, if I'm looking to go long and buy, uh, I want to do that as close as possible to the yellow shaded area. That way I have the lowest degree of risk, highest potential profit. We look for it to break through that blue zone and uh, continue to go higher to the green zone or maybe even the pink zone on the way back up for the dollar franc. And again, the risk here is pretty easy to figure out. We just don't want it now to get back underneath that yellow zone. And of course, if you're looking to be a, a seller and you're looking to go short, uh, the blue zone would be your area to do it. That is, of course, your current resistance zone. So if you have any inclination to be short or uh, short USD or long franc, uh, the blue zone is where you'd be looking to do that right now but i'm focused in on buying the yellow zone at the current moment another perspective i want to take here real quick is the volume indicator and i'm looking at it here on a much smaller time frame the 15 minute chart and you can see what's been happening we're going all the way back again left hand side of the chart back a couple of days ago on the 15th so we're looking at three days now that same period that's been bouncing around between it's the same blue and yellow shaded area but every time it comes close to this yellow zone find support we had a significant dip into it right here found support and went back up to the blue zone so that's where we are right now we're very close to the yellow zone so my intention is to look for support is to look for the volume indicator to roll over to bullish and then look for buying towards the blue zone or higher for the dollar franc today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.